What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time joining me today, my name is Noah Cavanaugh and I'm a professional soccer player. I'm currently in Sydney, Australia. This is a rooftop balcony of an Airbnb that I'm staying in. It's absolutely beautiful here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on whether or not college soccer is worth it. This is based on the American system of college soccer. I'm not really sure how it works overseas, but I do know a lot about NCAA, NAIA, uh, and the other leagues in the United States. So we'll be going over those things, sort of the big three questions that I will pose to you guys if you are in a position where you're choosing whether or not to go to college for soccer or not, or go straight into the professional game. Either way, we'll answer those questions today and hopefully give you guys the answers that you need to make that decision for yourself. All right, guys, let's hop into it. As a quick aside as well, there will be interspersed between these questions that I'm going to ask or pose to you is going to be a full upper body workout that I do on uh, usually once or twice a week. Um, it goes anywhere between two and three times every two weeks, depending on the schedule and depending on the changes. So I will put those exercises all down below in the description box. You can absolutely follow along, write the whole thing down and start getting after it. So the first question that I'm going to pose to you guys is, are you good enough? If I'm a player that's going to go to the either the professional game or to NCAA, my question is going to be up about the professional game. And I'm going to ask myself, am I good enough to be at the professional game? Now, of course, as a confident person and as a confident player, I think it's really easy to be like, absolutely yes. But if you can self-reflect a little bit and say, number one, how am I performing on and off the pitch? And two, is my training up to where it should be? There are also opportunities for other people like coaches and or mentors to say, hey, it might be a really good idea for you to go to college first. And in that case, that may be worth it. Speaking personally, I knew that I wasn't good enough. Yes, my dad said, hey, you absolutely have to get an education. That's super important before you hop into the pro game. But I also knew I wasn't at the professional level. I was playing at a club and academy level, which is a really high level in the US. For those of you who aren't from the US, it's a really good level, but it's not the professional level. I wasn't playing against professional players all the time. I was in the summer, but I still wasn't ready then. I wasn't in that space where I felt like, yep, you know what, I'm absolutely gunning to go. So I figured, why not use the facilities that a player gets at a college in the United States in order to improve and in order to get to where I needed to be to hop straight into the professional game. Based on your answer of whether or not you think you're good enough to go pro, if the answer is yes, my recommendation and my hope for you guys is you take that 
and you go 100% at it. If you're not gonna go and get an education or do trade school or something else, if you're not gonna do anything else in your life but football, you owe it to yourself if you've made the decision to go straight into the pro game from high school to dedicate absolutely every hour of the day to it in order to maximize your chances of becoming a professional player. I see a lot of people who hop into the quote unquote pro life and all they do is kind of walk into the environment, they're training with other guys that want to be pro, and they're sort of laissez-faire about it, which basically just means they're really lazy and they just kind of want to hang around. And the thing that I would recommend is if you are going to choose to play pro, if that answer is yes, I'm good enough, you have to put 100% of everything you have into that opportunity. Now. If your answer is no, what I would recommend is you go to a university and use the facilities at your disposal in order to get to the level you need to be. A lot of the facilities in the NCAA actually have way better facilities than the pro teams in the United States, especially when you are in the second, third, fourth division, or second and third division, I guess, of the American system. Obviously, once you get into the Premier League, that's a whole different level. We're talking about different calibers here. But if you're comparing an MLS level to an NCAA locker room facility, oftentimes the NCAA situation will actually be better. Okay, so number two is a question about the mental side of things. I know as a teenager, it's really, really hard to actually look inwards and say, hey, is my mental game up to par for what the pro game needs of me? Oftentimes, the professional game can be super, super stressful. I've lived it firsthand, obviously moving across the world, moving across the country, uh, depending on what you're doing and where you're traveling can be incredibly stressful for some people. You're leaving parents and family back home. You're leaving all your friends. If you've got a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a partner or something like that, you can, you're leaving them. It's actually a really stressful situation that you can be in and you gotta be prepared for the types of things that you might encounter when you're going to the pro game. You often see this in the professional game as well, and I've talked about this particular play, one of these particular players before, Alexander Bato, who really made it big as like an 18, 19, 20 year old, was absolutely killing everybody. But because of his mental game, he had to go home because he missed family too much, it was too hard on him, and it didn't allow for his success to get up to like CR7. And I'm not saying, I'm not making an argument that Pato was necessarily better or worse than CR7. All I'm saying is that if you have the right infrastructure around you and you've got the right mentality, going straight into the pro game might be the choice for you. For some of you though, college might be really worth the opportunity because it allows you to live on your own in a semi-structured way. Whether you're in dorms or a house, you're living with other people on campus. It's a semi-controlled environment, so to speak and it might be a really good leeway mentally trying to figure out how I'm gonna cook for myself, how I'm gonna do things on my own, like clean the house, keep my room tidy, things like that that 
even though it may sound small and may sound kind of dumb, it's super important to make sure that you have those things locked in when you go to the pro level so that you can, it's gonna be smooth sailing and all you're worried about is your football and you're just focused and ready to kill it in the games. The other thing that a college might offer that the professional game might not, unless of course you're at like the Premier League La Liga level, is counseling. And I don't necessarily mean go to a therapist. What I mean is support and counsel for making those really hard life decisions that you might have to make as a professional player. When I'm living on my own in Australia, my parents are nowhere to, you know, they're nowhere around. It would take them 17, 18, 19 hours to fly here from Seattle. I'm living on my own, I'm paying for all my own things, and I'm getting everything done on my own. Laundry, food, everything. When you're at university, at an NCAA school, or at an NAIA school, food is provided most of the time. You can go into the dorms and you have a bed. You don't have to worry about buying a bed, buying mattresses, buying all that stuff. So if you can kind of tell where I'm getting at here, there's a lot of factors about life that you'd just be thrown into if you went straight into the pro game. So for some of you, that may be a piece of cake because you're ready to go, but for the NCAA, that might be a really good stepping point. For me, I was actually mentally ready to get into the pro game, but soccer-wise, I wasn't really quite there yet and I needed to improve. So that's why I decided, because I didn't check that mark of whether I'm mentally ready to get into the pro game, I decided to go to college instead. So the last question that I want to ask you guys and post to you guys is, is college soccer something you want to do? I know it's a really simple thing to ask, but if you go professional and you decide, ah, you know, it's either too tough, I can't make it, something else happens, you can't really go back and play NCAA. I should correct myself there and say, if you get a contract and you sign a contract, you sign a piece of paper with a professional team, you aren't allowed to go into the NCAA. I'm not actually sure how NAI rules, you'd have to check, fact check me on that one, but it's really important to understand where you are and where you're coming from because you wanna make the decision that's right for you. So if you wanna play college soccer, do that first, or go train with a professional team and do that first, see how you like it, see what the level is, and then maybe you go back and play professional soccer. If you're a person who ticked box one and two, or i.e. question one and two that I've outlined before, so are you a good soccer player? Are you as good as a professional? Could you go pro? And two, are you ready for the mental side of thing? If both of those boxes are ticked, yep, I'm ready to go, and you don't care about playing NCAA, I don't think NCAA would be the right choice for you. If either of those two first ones are a no, or, you tick the boxes, you're ready and you're good enough, but you do wanna play college soccer, I think college soccer might be the right place for you.
that is it for the video. Thanks so much again for joining me today. I hope that provided value. If it did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. At the end of the day, it's about self-awareness and it's about making sure you know yourself well enough to get into the professional game and not be hit with things that you aren't prepared for. Of course, the world is a very big bad place, so to speak, and it's really easy to get hit with things that you might not know or you might be sort of shocked at. I definitely was when I hopped into the professional game full time. There are a lot of factors that I didn't see coming that I now know as an older professional player at 25 years old, I'm ready to go. I'm ready for wherever my agency and I decide is the best place after my surgery. And at the end of the day, I wanted to go to college to play soccer and I went to college to play soccer and that's the question we're answering today. So hopefully given all of those things, you can decide whether or not soccer in college is the best thing for you to do at this current moment. Thanks so much again for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, be awesome, take care, and I'll see you guys back in the United States in the next video.